What's going on everyone? This is Kevin here, coming at you with tips, tricks, and hidden features for the Samsung Galaxy A17 5G. So without further ado, let's get started. So this is the Samsung Galaxy A17 5G. Now I'm really excited to show you my favorite features about this phone here in this video because despite this phone being a budget option, it really is capable of a lot. Now the first thing I want to show you is a quick and easy way to get to the camera app here on the device and all you have to do is simply double press on the power button and then just like that, it pulls up the camera. So that's very convenient and what's even better is that you can actually customize this functionality. So what you need to do is pull down the shade here, go to the gear icon for the settings, then from there go to search and then type in side and then you'll see right here side button, so go there. And then you'll see from here, right now it's set to activate the camera. So tap on double press. And then from there, there's a bunch of different customizations. So the first thing is, you can customize it to set off various functionalities of the phone, such as the flashlight, or also various modes and routines. But even better here, you can select apps, and then you can choose any app that's installed on your device. So maybe you're constantly going on Instagram, then simply set it to Instagram. And then now, double press on that button, and then it pulls up that app. So that's super convenient. Now if you do prefer for it to open up the camera, you can even further customize this. Go to the gear right there, and then you can actually have it go to record a video, take a portrait image, or take a selfie instead of just simply opening up the camera. And another thing you can customize is what happens when you long press on the power button. So right now, by default, if you long press, it opens up the assistant. But if you don't want that, go back to those same settings here, and instead tap on long press, and then you can have it pull up the power off menu. So if you don't want to always have to go here to power off your phone, and instead you wanna just hold down the power button, you can do that now. Now the next feature I wanna show you is called edge panels. Now this is a very cool feature, and for some reason it's not enabled by default on the device. So go back to the settings, go to search, type in edge, and you'll see right there, edge panels, go there, and then go down to here, and then enable that, and then now you'll see on the side of the device, we have this little notch over here. So if you slide that out, you'll now see the edge panel. So by default, it does show some of your various applications. You can access this edge panel from anywhere throughout the operating system. Now if you go down here, it'll pull up all the various apps installed on your phone. So that's a very quick and easy way to get to your apps. You can also go to this pencil icon, and then from there, you can select what exactly you want to have here. So you can choose from your various apps. You can even have a multi-window configuration set up there by default. So that's very cool that you're getting that customization. You can also go to this gear icon right here. And then from there, you can choose from different edge panels. So by default, we're getting this configuration with various apps. But you can also choose people, tasks, weather, tools, the clipboard, and reminders. So it's definitely really awesome that we're getting so many customizations here. Now the next thing I wanna show you is how to take a screenshot with the Samsung Galaxy A17 5G. And there's multiple methods to take a screenshot here with the device, so let me show you right now. So all you have to do is hold down the volume down and power button for about a second, it'll take the screenshot, and then you have some various options down here. So that's super easy. You can also use the Gemini Assistant by holding down the power button, Take a screenshot. I have taken a screenshot for you. And the phone has now taken a screenshot. And if you have the edge panel enabled, go here to smart select. And then from there, simply draw around something, just like that. Tap on that down arrow, and then it's been saved to your gallery. And then now the screenshot's been saved. And then there's another way to do this too, and it is actually enabled by default, and it's called palm swipe to capture. So you just swipe the edge of your hand across the screen to take a screenshot. So we'll try this. And there we go, it took the screenshot. And it's a little awkward doing that. But that's how to take a screenshot with the Galaxy A17 5G. Now the next thing I wanna show you is the motion and gestures area of the settings as there's a lot of good stuff here. So you're gonna go down to advanced features and then from there you're gonna see motions and gestures. So go there. And I already showed you the palm swipe to capture but there's some other good ones here as well. And many of these are already enabled, except we have lift to wake, which is not enabled by default. So basically, if your screen is off and then you lift up your phone, it turns on the display, which I feel like is definitely something you'll want to enable here. And then as a reminder, I want to talk about a few more of these. 
So double tap to turn on the screen. If you don't want that enabled, of course you can disable it here, but basically you can double tap on the screen and it activates the display. You can also double tap to turn off the screen. So if you double tap on a part of the wallpaper, you can turn off the screen. So that is something that I think is pretty hidden that a lot of people don't know about. This is also an interesting one. If you put your phone face flat when you have a call coming in, it will mute the call. Now the next thing I wanna show you here is called one-handed modes. This is also an advanced features, but one-handed mode is pretty self-explanatory. It's a mode you'll wanna use when the phone is in one hand. So there's two ways to do this, gesture and button. We'll try out gesture first. So basically if the phone is in one hand, swipe down on the home button. And then from there you can see the entire display has been shrunken down here, so I can reach all portions of it with just one hand. So we're basically getting like a mini smartphone here. You can also switch it over to the other side. You can also grab on to the corner here and resize it and keep that kind of the default. So if you want it larger or smaller, you have that option as well based on your personal preference. You can also grab it here and move it up and down. So a lot of different ways to customize one-handed mode here. And then when you're done with one-handed mode, simply tap outside of the screen there. And then now you can see the phone is back to normal. Then the other option here is button. So just double tap on the home button and it puts the phone into one-handed mode. I actually feel like that's an easier way to do this. So it really is up to you. The next thing I wanna show you is how to do split screen with the Galaxy A17 5G. So for this example, let's go to Spotify, which I still need to sign in. We're gonna go to our recent apps button. And then from there, simply hold down on the icon and then now you can choose the second app. So you can choose from some of your recent apps. You can also go right here to choose any app on the device. So I'm gonna choose the calculator as the secondary app. And then you can see we have one app here and the other app there. Then you can also adjust this too if you want one app to take up less space than another. So that's definitely really helpful. Then tapping on this line gives us more options. So we can actually have the app pop out here. So you can basically have it float above the other app if I go to the home screen then from this mode, you can see there's the calculator app which I had floating before. I can tap on that again, and then now I'll be floating over the entire operating system. I can then resize that as well. So that's really awesome. Now with the Galaxy A17 5G, we're getting this really awesome lock screen experience here, but you can actually further customize this. Simply hold down and then put in your pin code and then let that load <laughs> at some point. And there we go, you can customize this in many ways. First thing is, you can go to effects. You can actually add different effects. You can grayscale your wallpaper. You can choose different color themes as well. This wallpaper is actually just a gradient that I created on Gemini, so maybe not the best example for this, but you get the idea. We can go back here as well You can go to frame. So you can actually add shapes on top of your wallpaper. So that's pretty interesting too. Then up top here, we can change this even more. Tap on the time and you can choose different styles for the clock here. So if you want it to look like that, you can do that. You get the idea, lots of different options. You can show the weather as well. So that's definitely helpful. It's very hot out today. <laughs> you can put the date above or below. So lots of different things. You can add your calendar. There's just so many cool customizations here. So I definitely love that a lot. You can also go to font and color. You can change the font. You can, of course, change the color here. So there's a lot of different ways to change the look. You can make it less bold. You can make it bolder. So there's a lot of different ways to change the look here on the lock screen of your device. And then finally, I wanna show you some cool options related to the battery on the phone. So you can see by default, we do get the percentage in the upper right corner, which is great. But if you go to the settings here and then go to search and then type in battery, go down to where it says battery right there. And then we have tons of different options here. First thing is, it's gonna give you an idea of what apps are using most of your battery, but you can also enable power saving mode. So this is really awesome. So by default, it's gonna cut out a lot of different background tasks. And in exchange for that, you'll get a lot better battery with your device. But you can actually further customize what happens when power saving mode is enabled. So maybe there's some things that you don't want as part of the compromise with power saving mode, such as maybe dark mode, or you don't want the screen turning off quite as quickly. So then you can make those customizations here, which is really cool. But then going back here, there's also battery protection. So keeping your battery at a full 100% charge for a long time can reduce its lifespan. Choose an option below to further protect your battery and to make it last longer. 
So if you are planning on keeping this phone for a while, then this definitely could come in handy because nothing's worse than having a phone that has a battery that can't hold up. So if you enable that, you can do basic mode, there's also adaptive, and then also maximum. So your battery will never charge above 80%. And then adaptive is pretty cool because it will stop charging at 80% when you're asleep, and then it'll switch to basic basically when you're about to wake up, and it'll kind of learn based on your daily patterns on what to do. So that's really interesting. And the final thing I wanna show you in this video, and trust me, there are a lot of different cool things this phone can do, but I gotta put an end to the video at some point. I might make a part two later, but I wanna show you how to change the navigation on the phone. So by default, the phone does come with the three button Android navigation. I personally like that quite a bit, but if you want gestures instead, go to the settings, type in nav, and then you'll see right there, navigation bar, go there, go to navigation bar, and then from there, you can switch to swipe gestures instead. And then now we have one line at the bottom here instead of those three buttons. So swiping up will take you home. Swiping partially up will take you to your recent apps. And then swiping from the side will take you back. So very intuitive there, that's for sure. We can even go to more options here and you can adjust the sensitivity level as well. So maybe you find yourself accidentally swiping out of something. And then going back to the buttons, you can go to more options for that and you can switch if you want the back button, recent apps button on one side or the other. So maybe if you're left-handed, you might wanna have the back button on the left side instead. But I hope you enjoyed this video of tips, tricks, and hidden features for the Samsung Galaxy A17 5G. If you liked the video, definitely give it a thumbs up. But this is Kevin here, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and have a great rest of your day.